The faceless men got rid of Kevin Rudd. The faceless men got rid of Julia Gillard. Let's get rid of the faceless men. My personal relationship with the current president of Indonesia, who is a pro-Western, moderate, impressive Islamic leader who is very fond of Australia, was on the right basis. We understood each other. But what the current Prime Minister of Australia has done to that relationship over the last two days is absolutely disgraceful. He knows what he said. It's great to see that uh, Mr Howard is there. You know, he's still uh, very liberal. He's still there saying we still got to get our message and our values forward. So I was very happy to see him here today. I make this solemn prediction. At some stage, under Kevin Rudd, people will get nostalgic even for Julia Gillard. <laughs> and you know, if every one of our candidates were to be elected, the most common surname in the Liberal Party room, it would be Nguyen. N-G-U-Y-E-N. Take a bow, John Nguyen. Look, it's just great. It's the diversity of this country and it's the diversity of the Liberal Party. And it's good to see us reflecting uh, the, um, the, the values of the community. And the right plan starts with scrapping the carbon tax. We don't rename it, we don't rebadge it, we just scrap it. We scrap it because you do not help the environment by hammering the economy. We will have cranes over our cities. We will have bulldozers on the ground. And here in Melbourne, it starts with building the east-west link, the missing link at the heart of this city. It will be built under a coalition government. He made himself the best friend the people smugglers have ever had. He gave them back their business model. John Howard took it away. Kevin Rudd gave it back to them. You know what he did? He rolled out the Rudd carpet. Uh, I thought it was a terrific address and he concentrated on the major issue that's evolved in the last 24 hours, which is this bizarre and extraordinary claim by Kevin Rudd that we're going to be at war with Indonesia. Um, you know, I think as people have said, he's rusty, he's probably out of his depth, uh, and uh, I don't think this rush of blood to the head by the Labor Party and uh, his support from the public at the minute will last. People will say, yes, that Tony Abbott, he did all sorts of things, but by God, he was an infrastructure Prime Minister. He was a builder.